أشرف المرسلين خاتم النبيين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين إلى يوم الدين. My dear brothers, sisters, elders, علماء, مشايخ. We are gathered here today. To demonstrate and to express an important message. And that message comes with the background that civilizations, nations, when they are on the incline, when they advance, when they progress, they have finesse, depth, characteristics, good manners, respect, and tolerance. And those are the characteristics and the signs of great civilizations in the past. And what we see in the past, civilizations, that are hungry, they are intolerant, antisocial. There's a breakdown of family values, breakdown of social cohesion, when there is insult, when there is hegemony, that those are the characteristics of not the beginning of a civilization, but the end of a civilization. With those benchmarks and those characteristics in mind, we look at today's situation. Europe and America and the Western world is going through economic depression. Economic recession is here. Depression is looming. Why? Because in the Western traditions and civilizations, we have lived beyond our means. We have lived in an anti, in a manner which is beyond our means. If you look at the BRICS countries, BRICS is Brazil. Russia, India, China, and South Africa, these progressing nations, these capitals of capitalism and the free market economy, are they going towards progress? No, they are making the same mistakes that we made in Europe here today. So what are the lessons that we should be learning from this? The lesson is, and we are here to talk about that lesson. The lesson is that when there is a breakdown of civil society, when there's a breakdown of global civility, when darkness looms, when there is zunamat, when girls and young and vulnerable are treaded upon, then there comes a mercy, but the greatest mercy that mankind has ever seen is in the personality of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi Yeah. 
spending over a billion pounds in the United Kingdom tackling alcoholism. We are spending over two billion pounds on the effects of divorce and the breakdown of social and family values. And I say this, this cloud of darkness that is looming economically and socially can only be got rid of if you bring back the sunnah of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi Muhammad ka sabood dijiye nara e takbir nara e risale nara e risale when there was a time when there was a moment that girls were being buried when civility left society our Rasul gave global civility and society to the whole of mankind. But you know, people say, your Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came and he went. But I tell you this, when those clouds of darkness, when they came over humanity, then there was Sayyidina Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani to bring light. And then, whenever mankind suffered from those social and economic injustices, Muinuddin Chisti Ajmeri gave light. And then, Dada Ali Ajmeri gave light. And I say to the Muslims of today, our message is a very simple one. Muslims who have been pointed at for uncivilized actions, those are the actions of a minority that we do not agree with. But the reality is that when you, who are the perpetrators of this nasty film, Innocence of Muslims, the Danish cartoons, and the cartoons in the French media, the cartoons in the Spanish media, the cartoons in the American media. I say to those who are perpetrating these insults, you are the protagonist of darkness in the whole world. And Muslims, we are not the bringers of darkness, we are the bringers of light in this society. And I say this, they say to us, where is your Abdul Qadir Jilani? Where is your Fariduddin? Where is your Muinuddin? But I say to you that you are pointing a finger. Today we have over 15,000 saints of Hosanism. Number 
terrorist. Google is a terrorist. Google is a terrorist. Google is a terrorist. Google, you are a terrorist. Stop your terrorism. Let's all say, stop your terrorism. And inshallah, I promise you this, whether it takes us one demonstration or dozens of demonstrations, whether it takes us to the United Kingdom House of Commons, or whether it takes us to the United Nations, Muslims around the world will not rest until we do not complete the campaign for global civility throughout the world. And this is why our Rasul, when he was described by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala announced, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Our Prophet, you are a mercy for the universe. And so we say, if you need a lesson in manners, in good characteristics, come to the true Muslims, come to the Sufis, and we will teach you manners. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make your coming here 